pilots are taught to prioritise certain tasks over others, an adage that assists pilots in remembering the prioritisation of three important tasks is aviate, navigate, communicate. Pilots must first fly the aircraft before talking on the radio. However, communication itself can be an issue, hence featuring prominently in many aviation accidents. Aviation authorities around the world have addressed the communication problem by focusing on aviation terminology as well as language proficiency standards. Such efforts include one common language, standard phraseology and minimum levels of language proficiency. The challenge is immense, as the chosen language for aviation, namely Aviation English, is not the native language of most aviation personnel around the world. In addition, factors such as task demands, quantity of information presented in a radio transmission, or the accent of the pilot or the air traffic controller may also impact on the quality of communication. Therefore, the aim of the present research was to investigate the impact of factors outside the control of the pilot on communication errors. Factors such as the number of items in each transmission, prosodic features such as presence or absence of pauses, the workload of the pilot, and airspace congestion. 17 pilots, including 9 non-native English pilots, completed the same 8 flights in a flight simulator. 7 pilots held a private pilot license or lower. 10 pilots held a commercial pilot license or higher. Communication performance in terms of errors committed with radio calls was analysed. The results revealed that non-native English pilots with low levels of pilot qualifications found it more difficult to communicate accurately during the flights with no pauses in the air traffic control radio calls than the other pilots. Native English pilots also committed fewer communication errors than the non-native English speakers. The higher qualified pilots also committed fewer errors than the lower qualified pilots. The most significant effect was that when four or more items were included in a radio transmission, the accuracy of communication decreased. Neither being a native English speaker nor a highly qualified pilot could negate this effect. When the pilot workload was increased, as a result of a fuel recalculation mid-flight, communication performance decreased, and again neither language background nor license type was enough to offset this effect. This research was conducted by Brett Molesworth and Dominic Estevel. Brett Molesworth is a human factor specialist at the University of New South Wales, Australia, and Dominic Estevel is a linguist from Western Sydney University. A write-up of this research can be found in the journal Safety Science.